good evening everyone so in this video also we are going to continue with the terminology of the screw thread okay so here uh, for first we are going to discuss about the the major diameter and minor diameter okay so the major diameter is the crest to another crest okay so other side the crest is coming out so in between the distance is called it as major diameter okay then comes into the this one depth uh, minor diameter root to other side uh, root is coming no so that plane uh, that in between the distance is called it as um, minor diameter okay so pitch uh, the thread depth so the distance between major diameter minus minor diameter is called it as uh, th thread depth okay so this are all the things then comes into the thread per inch this is the reciprocal of the pitch in inches okay that is thread per inch then comes into the lead angle okay lead angle is the on the straight line lead angle is angle made by helix of the thread at the pitch line helix of the thread at the pitch line with plane perpendicular to the axis so the angle measured in an axial plane then comes into the next one is the helix plane on straight thread helix angle is the angle made by helix of the thread or the pitch line with the axis the angle is measured in axial plane okay then comes into the depth of the thread already i told you the distance between uh, root to crest whatever the straight uh, uh, perpendicular distance is called it as depth of the thread or otherwise uh, we can say that that major diameter minus minor diameter uh, distance is called it as uh, depth of the thread okay so then comes into the axial thickness the this is the distance between opposite faces of the same thread measured on the pitch cylinder in a direction parallel to the axis of the thread is axial thickness then comes into the fundamental triangle so this is found to be extending the flanks and joining the point b and c thus uh, figure on the figure triangle abc is referred to the fundamental triangle here bc is the pitch and the vertical uh, height of the triangle is called angular or theoretical depth the point a is the apex of the triangle abc so listen over here uh, in this one a uh, sorry b c so this uh, triangle is called it as fundamental triangle it may be comes over in the other manner also like uh, this triangle also fundamental triangle so this is the thing the uh, things they are saying that that is the fundamental um, uh, triangle that means a b to c uh, so this triangle is called it as fundamental triangle then comes into the truncation okay so the truncation the thread sometimes truncated at the crest or at the root or both the crest and the root the truncation of the crest is the radial distance from crest to nearest apex of the fundamental triangle similarly the truncation of the root is the radial distance from the root to the nearest apex okay so what is that means so from the fundamental triangle from here to whatever the nearest crest so in that distance so in that uh, distance from here to here so that is called it as truncation so uh, the truncation is placed on the above that is crest truncation okay so same like from uh, the b to this root area so whatever distance it will place that is the fundamental Mm, fundamental uh, sorry uh, root truncation fundamental triangle to the root what are the distance is called it as that is called it as root truncation okay so the fundamental triangle is the a b c is the fundamental triangle that means uh, from uh, the full depth of the uh, thread okay so that fundamental triangle truncation is from the fundamental triangle distance top distance to the uh, that crest and here from bottom to root distance how much distance is placed that is the crest truncation as well as um, 
root truncation. Then comes into the addendum and dedendum. Okay, in the for an external thread, this is defined as the radial distance between the major and the pitch cylinder. For internal thread, this is a radial distance between minor and pitch cylinder. Okay, in the dedendum, this is the radial distance between pitch and minor uh, cylinder for external thread and for uh, uh, internal thread this is the radial distance between major and pitch cylinder okay that is called it as addendum and uh, detender so here uh, the pitch circle to what are the distance to placed on the crest so those areas call it as addendum okay from pitch line to the bottom uh, root up to the root what are the areas placed that is called it as Detendum. Simple manner if you want to say about the addendum and detendum from the pitch line to above uh, up to the crest uh, that area is addendum from pitch line to bottom up to the root that area is that that is called as detendum. So the addendum and detendum are very important. Then comes into the next thing major diameter and minor diameter and uh, effective diameter of the pitch diameter. Then comes once again I will tell you the major diameter is the, the distance between uh, like uh, uh, crest to other side of the crest that distance is called as major diameter minor diameter is the root to other side of the diameter is called as minor diameter okay then comes into the next thing effective diameter so normally this pitch line and other things and all normally it will be the not the real one it is the imaginary one comes into the uh, which one uh, like uh, uh, effective diameter so if effective diameter is the uh, another uh, thread is mating with this thread where exactly two flanks are meet uh, mating so that the power transmission takes place or it may be contacted with each other in that particular area is called it as where exactly it will be met both uh, threads so that is called it as that is effective diameter okay so uh, this is about the effective diameter here the effective diameter uh, in, in the straight thread this is the diameter of the pitch cylinder and the uh, pitch cylinder the imaginary cylinder which is coaxial with the axis of the screw and intersect the flank of the thread such a way to make the width of the threads and width of the space between threads are equal okay if the pitch cylinder is imagined generated a straight line parallel to the axis of, of screw that straight line is then referred to as the pitch line along with the pitch line the width of the thread and the width of the space is equal to the perfect thread this is the most important dimensions that it decides to quality of the fit between the threads so here the thing is uh, in between so exactly in the effective diameter pitch uh, between the flanks here as well as this one it will be equal okay and also exactly the other uh, screw has to be uh, meet over here so that is about the effective diameter okay so with that this terminology will get more so then we will see about the measurement of threads in the next ppt okay so this is about the threads